What's up? How are you? I'm doing all right. You guys ever, like, imagine if you're watching, like, Dora the Explorer, and then, like, imagine if there was just, like, Snoop Dogg responding to everything she said? That'd be great. Like, it's like Dora's like, where's the thing? And then Snoop Dogg's like, it's it's behind him. You got to go back there. It's right there. I just feel like it'd be great. I could see him doing Snoop that, Snoop Dogg reacts. I know. I don't watch that. Um, anyway, uh, so you're here, uh, which is fantastic. You found us. We're Roll to One. I'm Jaden. I'm here with Andy, Zane, Jackson, and Rolls. Um, oh, no. I hit the button. I'm sorry. It's okay. We can do it again. That was a good hook. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I can start over. I'll do it again. Right. I'm not going to do the same thing. I can't do the same thing twice. <coughs> All right. All right. Hit the button <laughs> now. Never did the same thing twice. That's just what they're expecting. Get my hand off the button this time. Hello and welcome to Rolls of One. I'm Jaden Miller. I'm here with Andy Ross and Jackson. Um, the last guy, that I'm not going to say his name yet, has a giant fat ankle. He got in a serious walking accident. <laughs> <laughs> and Makes rolled it. Sound it. So. And uh, it's, it swelled up like my ego. Just letting you know. So Zane is his name. Uh, give him a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Uh, cause, cause we're, we're doing this thing. Uh, you're watching this sci-fi D&D experience known as Orbit 21. The only thing that we can do to save Zane the trouble of his medical bills is to buy merch. <laughs> it's true. Please buy merch. Please. More on the way. Thank you. All right, I'm going to pick a song now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the Frontier. That's not plugged in. Just out there in the world. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Love it. You hear it? Here yeah. we go. I can hear it. Blah, 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 blah. Plug your ears. Here we go. Three, two, one. There it is. Yeah. All right. Uh, wouldn't be Roll to One without a little jank. Hit up the Patreon if you want to fix that. <laughs> um, so, Yeah. Last time, you guys did some cool stuff. Um, we're on YouTube Music. I'm supposed to say that. Uh, the crew learned about their ship and its capabilities. Uh, they only had a few minutes to plan before leaving the planet. Uh, they chose a bold approach, blowing a hole in the roof of the Verdant Dome on Mars. So much to Scott's disappointment. Uh, from there, they embarked on their journey to the asteroid belt. Upon arrival, uh, mind you, two weeks went by, uh, but upon arrival, they discovered a peculiar geodic asteroid. Uh, that appeared to flicker, emitting what seemed to be a rainbow message. Um, uh, it's, uh, you know, will you be able to discode it? It really was the kind of question that we left out there. Um, but deciding to record the message and deal with it later, uh, we find ourselves in the asteroid belt. Um, do you have... Uh, everybody knows what space looks like. You know, my very excellent mother just sent us nine Plutos, not a planet. Um, but I've decided that it's an important location in this story. Mm -hmm. So, Pluto, we are trying to head. But where is your next destination? Um, food is readily printable and fuel is readily available. Do we want to fly all the way to Pluto? Well, or I think do the we plan right now is else? to hide here for at least a little bit. All right. See if we can tell if there's anyone on our trail. Yeah. We kind of yeah. got here as fast as we could. And now we're going to, like, Looking over our shoulder. Yep. But first, there's something in front of us. There is. It's shiny. It's big. Who's going to make the first comment on it? It's not Scott. Well, you see, Jovthor <laughs> is recording it. Is that the? Is that the thing? I mean, I've I've heard about this uh, geodic <laughs> asteroid before, and it's flashing. No, no one in on Nimbus ever really knew much about it and people would claim to see it, see it but based on their descriptions it, I'm gonna guess they didn't actually see it um, but I mean it is how they describe just big flashing rock in the middle of space I can't remember what's smaller than I expected there's nothing special like that. Is there, do we know why it does what it does like it's flashing and why is the no. Loch Ness monster still alive is it 
That's this the it's same. That, it's that level of myth. Yes. Oh, okay. It's, it's the only rock in the asteroid belt that is important. It seems. I see. That's. To... I mean, that's the vibe, right? Like sure, it's like it's yeah. old sailor's tale, right? Sure. And in space, there'd be tons of those. So it's almost. It's like if you saw something that almost felt paranormal. That's how I, weird it is. I, there's to people see who have attempted to explain away the paranormal with science for many years, and many people have done this with this thing. It's like, oh, sure. it's just a, just a, it's a, it's a response to the way that it has its uh, half life over time. It's going to give off these strange glowing lights. It's just, it's normal. It's just uh, an opalescent rock. Okay. A Besides, rock the video is blurry. So when you Google it, <laughs> it's like. Many have theories, but no one well, knows like like for sure. The one rock like in the Neil asteroid DeGrasse belt, and like unless you were going to fly across the asteroid belt. I mean, I feel like someone would if if sure. it was readily. And know, I'm sure I'm sure that. they have, and and but nobody's been able to. What what Joe Thor knows is that no one's been able to decode what it's flickering. So the one who yeah. ran across the asteroid belt, they're the ones with the blurry video. <laughs> There's the Bigfoot video yeah. of it. Mm-hmm. All right. So, yeah, so I'm just record, recording it visually and just taking whatever other measurements I can with the ship's I stuff. I remember hearing yeah. something about that, but oh, it was so long ago before. Before. The inner, yep. Well, anyways, what are we going to... Um, do you want to, like, go up to it, Maybe? Can I scan? Can I do a sensor sweep? See if there's... Yeah, you do a little sensor sweep. Yeah. Um, you want to roll some dice, though. I want you to as well. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to roll a... Either your choice. You can roll a sleight of hand to attempt to focus your sensors upon the rock. Or you can roll an investigation check to deduce what you're already seeing. Do sleight of hand. Okay. <coughs> so he focuses... Ooh. Oh, it's that, in the thing. That, damn it. It's in there. <laughs> well. I mean, you didn't try. I mean, I get it. It's a seven. Oh, it's a seven. Uh, so he attempts to focus the communications, um, realizing very quickly that he has it the wrong direction. Uh, spins it back around, but by the time it happens, the flickering is ceased. Did you break it? I'm, I'm, currently, <laughs> I'm currently sitting in the chair with my eyes turned off. Like, my consciousness is just in the ship right now. That's right. Gotcha. No. (laughs) (laughs) You hear from the intercom. Let's spend (laughs) spend a little time in the ship. I feel like we need to sort of address what it feels like um, to be in it, right? So I sort of described in in now impartial ways. The ship is yellow. Uh, If somebody wants to go grab it, they can. Um, The ship, in fact, is yellow. It is a bright yellow ship. Um, It has green accents on it. It does not have the big gun handle. Um, but it does have, um, yeah, but it does have all of the, the bells and whistles. Yes, it, of course, is the ship from Buzz Lightyear painted differently. I know. Shh. Don't tell me. It's just Lightyear. Um, yep. But I will say, when you look at a miniature, that big sort of bottom section near your right hand, Ross, is sort of where the cargo hold sort of extends out, right where the battery pack would go, right? That sort of back little area would extend out. And then... Um, that whole middle space would be like cargo, right? And then as you sort of go towards the front of the ship, towards the front of the the area, that's where it sort of becomes the ship co- ship area, right? Not super big, right? It'd probably be, I guess, the size of a box truck as far as the area in the back that you have. And then just a little bit more, probably two box trucks stacked next to each other. So those five seats are not... They're not side super well side. spread so apart. It's, it's all it's like, it's like, two, it's like rows. two seats and then one in the front. So yeah. it's bigger than a Pelican, but smaller than the Guardians of the Galaxy ship. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it kind of has that feeling to it. The cockpit kind of has a Millennium Falcon. Yeah, it's really yeah. not very big cockpit-wise, yeah. but the back, Cock- they make use of the cargo space. Cockpit being the size of, like, this table? Mm, probably a little bit smaller. Eh, probably. Eh, maybe. I also have a miniaturized version of it as well. I, I did notice that. Yeah, I painted one. So Maybe a little yeah. larger than table, but not a whole lot. Yeah. Well. It, anywho, so. Different shape. Uh, yeah. w- with all of Joe Thor's um, tinkering and modifying of things over the past 12 days he has kind of claimed one si- one corner of the cargo hold uh for his stuff just kind of all of his kind of work in progress things kind of his yep uh, other mat- uh, spare materials and stuff now how have you guys been sleeping for the past 12 days like what what's this what's the arrangement 
How do you, because I know, I'll tell you, there's like two tubes, right? There's one that's a sink and one that's a toilet. And they're on like sort of opposite ends. They release kind of behind the missiles as far as the way that our ship is oriented, right? And they just go into space, right? It's all sort of a, the tube sort of pulls gravity downward and everything is handled properly. Um, but that being said, that's probably not the greatest, you know, I've, I've lived with, you know, a bunch of guys. I was in college <laughs> and I afterward. And I so, treat. and so I'm just saying that like, it's not great living in a freaking box truck with four dudes. Scott loves it. Um, Scott's <laughs> <a little worse>. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, <laughs> but I'm just saying that like, let's, let's put ourselves in their heads for a hot sec. Like that's, that's not great. I mean, I don't know, man, them, the, the pilot seat's pretty comfortable. Do you think you sleep in the pilot seat? Probably. You never know what might come at you. It wasn't so you nice gotta be ready. You get up and stretch, but you lean back in that front middle seat and you fall asleep. It's like it a reclines. recliner. It's pretty it's comfortable. It's like a recliner I that mean, hugs you. Scott just sort down. of plugs himself in. He's good, but. <clears throat> Kane's used to it. That was more, I mean, tight quarters when you're working cargo. Yeah. I mean, if you really wanted to, though, Kane could just pop in and out of dimensions for space. Um, like no. Eight, less than 30 seconds. Yeah. Well, like Kane, and he can't breathe. Kane uh, used to work uh, on a ship. Yeah, um, Ewan went through boot camp. Yeah, and Joe Thor, how's Joe Thor doing? Uh, I mean, uh, it's a little bit more cramped than Joe Thor is usually uh, accustomed to, but just because his mm-hmm. workshop back on Nimbus was <coughs> larger. But I mean, he has his materials, and uh, he's finding that sometimes when you have smaller space, you lose tools less quickly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, or less often. I, I'm telling you guys, I picture, I picture that they that there is a Jovthor hammock in the top of the cargo hold. Yeah, and his spe- stuff's kind of in the side or like in the netting along the ceiling, and then I'm picturing um, Kane sort of has like a bunk space on the floor of the, the cargo he's hold. He's got the well, there's like beds on the sides, weren't there? Yeah, you like know, pull out, you yeah, pull full, out the, yeah, the beds. He's got, he's, he's got oh, one like, of those. He's got one of those and like 16 blankets on him. Um, and then I feel like I feel like. Uh, as often as you fall asleep at the front, uh, you and you also probably have a bunk, um, just in case you want to like stretch out totally. And then Scott just balls up, and all's good. And what, what is about memory? memory? Yes. And memory, memory has wow. been, uh, I wouldn't say uncomfortable around you guys. It seems that she has um, the the foster child mentality when it comes to this process for her, um, and sort of just kind of lets you guys do whatever. Um, she's gotten to the point where now she's giving you nuggies. Um, she's, she's a little bit like, you know, she takes longer in the bathroom than you guys do. Um, so it's, it's, it's annoying sometimes, but you know, I mean, when you have computers and wires sticking out of you, you got to make sure you don't short circuit. Uh, one time she comes out of the bathroom in like the middle of, in the middle of like the second week and she's just got like blue hair dye in her fingers uh, and she's cause she's got blue hair and you got to maintain that. That's yeah. not natural. There's no way. <laughs> um, Future. <laughs> yeah. So, but anyway, I'm just saying it's yeah. been it's been not fantastic, but she probably does have a bunk. I would imagine that because obviously it's three bunks that sort of pull out of the wall um, along the net, so it still has like a free forming uh, like pipe that sort of like pulls it down and sort of goes right. up and down depending on what you want to load in or whatever. Um, but she has one in the middle. Uh, you guys have sort of two, and then obviously the the classic yeah. Joe Thor hammock. So she's like claimed a side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so now we have ourselves, again, For we're going to make another trip. Now, this time, we can actually prepare, um, despite the fact that we are in the middle of the asteroid belt. But wait, what? are we doing anything more with that uh, flashy thing? I mean, it depends on what you guys want to do. I, I mean, sold the ability to like try and decode it, didn't we? Uh, no, I recorded it. I, didn't, I, I haven't started to decode it yet. Um, I suppose we could do that on the way. Yeah, I mean, I guess Joe... Well, Ford, first off, the reason why we got here. Oh, yeah. We were going to, like, hide and then check and see if, I guess, anyone was following us. So. Sure. I guess we do that. Yeah. Um, Can I I mean, I already did a, I did the focused sweep on that. Can I see if there's any, any other ships in the area, people hiding out like we are or. Yeah. Yeah. There's, so you're on, you're in the sort of asteroid belt, right? Uh, It's a belt of rocky debris and minor planets. Um, in this context, uh, there'd be like a lack of atmosphere, extreme temperature variations, obviously. Um, the gravity, is v- it varies, but generally very low. Um, so anytime you leave, you're basically zero G. So you're going to need a fly speed in order to maneuver yourself, or you're going to have to make athletics checks to jump. Um, um, yeah, you begin to scan. Um, you sort of see 
in the distance, I'll just say, uh, there's sort of a sp- sort of a sprawling network of vi- of like of mines, right? It's, it looks oh, like a bunch of oh. like sort of they've sort of built. Uh, uh, what's it called? It's like the stuff that builds up the sides of buildings, right? It's like the scaffolding. Scaffolding, but for these, it's like a bunch of metallic scaffolding around a collection of asteroids. It sort of looks like a junker's paradise in mm-hmm. that kind of corner. And then you see these like, like these driving drills on the edges of these like asteroids, sort of moving like Super Mario Galaxy with no gra- like gravity pulling to the the asteroid, but not you know away so it's like sort of like spheroid gravity right as they sort of navigate around these things drilling through the middle um looking for um, sort of some sort of some sort of resource yeah. right so you're thinking we could get we could maybe get close enough that's to them. like i would say uh y- if you are um like if this if this is how big you are in space then it's past jackson that you see this Sure. Which is like six right. feet. It's like seven feet, but like if, if you're a, if you're less than a a, a, centi- a millimeter tall. Okay. So it's like it's a real distance. So we're we're good. So yeah, but we could also cloak ourselves, getting close enough to I guess hack in their their comms and see. I mean what, that that's within a thousand miles, so our our thing? comms should work. Mm-hmm. Sure. Oh. I mean, I guess I would report that back to the crew, and then uh, like the situation, and then kind of you know we should be fine to to stay where we're at and then uh i don't know i mean do do we have any motivation to go check that out or well, i thought it was for the purpose of we could actually they'd have uh communication with somewhere else they're probably not on an island communication wise i mean you could hack in there and see if they've heard anything if like there's an eight all points bulletin out for us or something like that okay so uh uh, you and you worked for, you worked for the SJF, and the SJF placed you a while ago on an ORB, an operational radio base. It's your, it's every 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 SJF soldier's first, first gig. Yeah. Right. You 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 guard a satellite dish that's pointed somewhere. Yep. You know just inherently that if this mining expedition <coughs> is indeed important then they would have like some sort of markings, some sort of importance to them. And there's an ORB that's probably pointed right at them, mm-hmm. right? So you, you spent most of your time, you know, clicking right on the arrow key, ever so slightly monitoring the, the rotation of a satellite dish to make sure that the communications were, yep. were clean. You know, as much as they want to automate that, uh, the SJF has a no robot policy. And you had to do it. Including the little drinky bird. Yeah. <laughs> it's too uh, close, Homer Simpson. Too close. So so that's that's what you know. Um but that's a big if, right? You sort of see this junkyard uh mining situation before you. It doesn't remind you of an official <coughs> mining operation. Mm. Mm-hmm. Is it abandoned? You are seeing roving drills on the edges of of asteroids. That's a no. It doesn't mean so, that someone hasn't restarted it. That, that that means it could have been abandoned, but it's not right now. It's, uh, yeah, uh, it's not obvious that it's been abandoned. Gotcha. Like you're so, seeing, you're, it's not abandoned. Right. Yeah. Due to the activity. Yeah. So, uh, Joe, uh, Joe Flo is just going to go over to communications and just flip it on <laughs> and just kind of see if there's any ambient signals going out or the equivalent of a galactic space station go ahead and give me a perception check that's no moon i want to say it i would imagine joe thor like ross now puts on these big headphones and just like scoots himself close to the the little like thing Mm -hmm. and is just waiting and like turning the little dials because it's an 80s movie it's a big yeah of course it's like (laughs) what we're doing now yeah (laughs) he's like (laughs) all right so you're what'd you roll 18 18 you sort of like turn and like and then you hear you hear um hey we're getting some uh i think we found something okay all right we'll bring it back um uh we're gonna have to get the uh we're gonna have to get the jetpacks out 
Um, seems we're gonna have to free float this one. Anybody have nets? You know, like they're just sort of talking, mm. doing their job, and you're getting several different voices. Um, over the course of you listening, you hear probably five or six voices um, in total. Um, but it seems activity-wise that there seems to be more than that, people-wise. Right. Uh, so whoever's over the main communique is trying to keep things relatively low for as many people as you're seeing. Gotcha. Well, guys, uh, I can hear things. It, look, it looks like it's a normal mining facility to me. I don't know who's running it or is in charge of it. Um, I guess we could go in and check it out, but I don't I don't see any really reason to. If it seems normal, I wouldn't. SGF likes to keep an eye on those. And uh, Scott's going to say to memory, is any of this part of Al's plan? Well, um, I, I'm not necessarily going to say I don't believe it but um we've sort of been saying it's all part of al's plan whatever you four do is seemingly important enough that i mean you know what i mean like I'm not saying you're like you know jesus but <laughs> you seem to be important somehow really all right Whatever you do is seemingly what he wants you to do, so. All right. Well, guys, my... I think we should just leave it. I think we should move on. Uh, well, uh, we need to figure out where we're going to next. It doesn't look like anyone followed us from Mars, which is awesome. Um, I know we need eventually to get to Pluto, just for to get to Al and get the chip to him. But, uh, I don't know. What's the next move? What would I do? Great question. What did you do? <laughs> what have you done? I guess not a, not, not a lot. But maybe that was the plan? Maybe we should go for some drinks. Talk it over. <laughs> Where? Um, I would say the big mass of metal in the middle. <laughs> the, well, the drill? No, no, no. Look, there's a like a bunch of pipes in the mid, like right there. Do you think that like have a? Like, I don't know they, if they're bond? good or not. I mean, are we? <clears throat> While everyone's just kind of discussing, Scott is uh, going to just quietly try to see if he can get into their systems. Trying are to remote, we, uh, remote hack something? Yeah, or just like see, you know. I would say yeah. Jovthor has got the communications calibrated. Yes. Um, and I would say that uh, you're not able to like hack them remotely because you're more than like a thousand feet away from them. Okay. You're like so, a thousand feet away. All right. Can the ship hack them? Uh, no, there are upgrades Just, in the future that are able to do so. Okay, so it's the because I'm using the ship's range. We right? We could also get in there range. within what two rounds. But there's no there's no like remote hacking that you can do with the ship. Well, I kind of just want to like read like who are they affiliated with? Blah blah blah. Um, can, you're trying to well, you're gonna have to ask for that probably. We we could just get over there cloaked. You could you could as well. Um, you've been you've been Take traveling for a while. So Twelve seconds. Works. Well, I mean, if I, I was just going to do it like at, to pass the time, but well, I mean, you can also just like reach out. You can be like, "Hello, we're in space. What's up?" Yeah. But we're hiding. We're hiding. So yeah, but it doesn't mean they know where in it's space. A bad right. hiding. I mean, space is space. It's infinite. Yeah, I mean, why don't just for just for the sake, let's put cloaking oh, on, cool. get closer, kind of see what there is to see, see if it's worth uh, just investigate, see what's going on. If it's something worth hanging around for, we'll hang around. If not. We will get out of here. All right. Yay. All right. All right. Cool. Uh, I, I guess we can check out the check out a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna cloak us, just kind of see what we can see, and um, yeah. Anyone object? Just be ready for anything. Also, guys, we need to come up with a name for the ship. Uh, we've been on it for almost two weeks now. Keep that in mind. All right. You guys ready to go? I suppose. Cloak. Yep, so you cloak yourselves. 
sort of and begin to head in the direction of those people. It is through so, asteroids, though. Yes, you are going through asteroids, so I'm going to need a piloting check to navigate this. That seems fair. Mm-hmm. Um, and this piloting check is going to double as your stealth check. So you have advantage. That looks good. <laughs> Was that 20? Uh, no. 16, but... Feels good. Yeah. Plus, <laughs> plus 10, so 26. And you said with advantage. He has a plus 10 in that? To piloting? Plus 7, and probably pro- proficient in it, so plus 3. Where, so you have a plus 5 to your dexterity, and then yes. your plus to proficiency. Yeah, so that's so a plus eight. 8. My piloting on here is marked as 7. Oh, that was, that was before... We leveled up to five. Uh, so, which, so now it's just a plus eight. Yeah. So oh, it's gotcha. 16 plus eight. Which oh, either is way, 24 is still 24 good. is still phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Look, afterwards, let's update yeah, that just yeah. to make yeah, sure. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he has obviously has advantage. This one's the stealth double here. Nat 20. That's an at 20. Oh, that's some, some 28. Yeah. Smooth. As nice. So, yeah, you guys fly through. I would say maybe an asteroid sort of gets near on your side. Um, Scott points it out on the sort of navigational computer. Um, and you sort of just rotate around, sort of. Um, there is, there's no up in space. It's disorienting, um, but of course, for the sake of this, you head forward, right? And and you're going towards this giant thing. Um, 18 carries over here, we'll say, and you sort of perceive that um, there is some sort of symbol on the side of this bastion here. Um, it looks like a like a shadowed rock on a field of blood, right? So it's a black circle on a red, um, on a red hmm. background, right? So it's like interesting. It's like the whatever the, uh, it's like you know, and, and is it who's the who's the white? I'm I'm a political science major in college. Who's the white flag with a red dot? That's Japan. 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 Okay, so Japan. <laughs> <laughs> yep. it, but it's Japan, but instead it's red with a black dot. Oh, huh. cool. So, do we recognize that? Anti-Japan. Make a history check. Oh. Keep doing that. Keep dropping it? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. 19. 19 is pretty good. It would make sense that you would know. Yeah. 20. 16. 20. Jothor, <laughs> Jothor is well read, but I would say you've seen this before. Uh, this is the the this is the elusive Black Rock gang. Oh. Um, home to home to infamous uh, miners and pirates, as well as the Black Rock Bar, the location that has been placed at the center on this black asteroid that they've sort of mounted their thrusters to. You see, it's like a big perpendicular frame that cuts right in the middle of this large black rock, and then on each edge are these thrusters that allow them to fly like an X um, with these thrusters on each end, and then the middle rock has been hollowed out, and they sort of have their base in it. You're just making, oh, man. I'm just thinking nowhere from Guardians of the Galaxy, like similar to that. Well, it's, it's like I said, it's just a big black, yeah. freaking huge rock, and then like just pipes that Hollow. extend out of it, and then thrusters. Yeah. What does he yeah. know of the Black Rock Bar? Um, he knows that it's a home of all things seedy and scum. And villainy? No, maybe not villainy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to say it. <laughs> you, you've, heard, you've heard of the phrase, I'll say, with your, with your very high role. Uh, actually, Joe Thor. Joe Thor, you remind him of this. But he's sort of like, that's Black Rock. And you're like, give a buck to a Black Rock. <clears throat> and you just sort of say it um, and, and understand that credits... As long as you have enough credits, they're going to be no problem. Just like the real Black Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. I didn't make that connection until right now. <laughs> All right. Well, Black Rock gang. I forgot they are like an investment firm. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're also seedy and villainous. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like, Allegedly. I like the Black Allegedly. Rock gang uh, this time. It's in space. Yeah, they moved on from investments. Um, no, they're still investments. I wanted, I wanted yeah. a, I wanted a sort of Jolly Roger that was a little different. Yeah, yeah, no, it's cool. I figured they'd be like pirates. Yeah, they're like, but they're not like, they're not necessarily known for like stealing your stuff. Right. They're more so like opportunistic 
gr- like crime of opportunity people. Like the people, mm-hmm. like the, the miners who drill sideways into under somebody else's land, that kind of thing. That kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And they, they would for sure do that. And in this case, um, you would, you would be able to verify that the SJF, if they are aware of it, is letting it happen. Mm. Um, and if they're not, then that's, that's probably more likely. Yeah. Is there a way, uh, we can leave like a calling card. What does that mean? Uh, yeah, you can communicate while cloaked. Okay. Um, because that has no effect on it. Only shields are impacted when you're cloaked. And shooting. You said shooting too. Yes. And and movement. Anything that would require <laughs> energy. But communications energy. is is just sending a signal. Right. Um. Yes, it requires uh, energy. I yeah, 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 but, yeah. No, I got that. <laughs> um, I, I felt the groans of Andy <laughs> and the comment section. <laughs> <so> <laughs> Relatively small amounts of energy to send a signal versus shields or... Future. Yeah. Um, so, Joe would be like, well, guys, uh, uh, Ewan said that he wanted to get a drink. Should we uh, Should we get out, out of the ship for a couple hours and then go on our way or just continue on? It's like when you get out and stretch in McDonald's. It is unlikely that they would reveal our position to any authority. As true as that is, from what you and I both know about them, we're probably just better off hopping on, hopping around, going, skipping it. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It'd be nice to walk something other than the 40 square feet that we have back there. Nice, but unnecessary. Mm. Uh, life is, there's a lot of unnecessary things in life that are nice. What are they? Uh, Would you rather be back in that prison cell walking back and forth in there? Uh, I am... I'm not going to say I'm ready for a fight. However, I feel like I'm going to fare a lot better than I once did, should that be. I don't think I'm going back in a jail cell. You you said something um, strange. Did you say buck for a... Buck for a what? Black uh, rock. Uh, a buck, buck to a rock? Is that what you... Buck, buck for a black rock. Uh, buck for a black rock. Yeah, it's a... Just term used for that. Pretty much, it's if you have a buck, a black rock is somehow going to take it. Oh, um, well, how much credits do we have? Uh, well, after all of my upgrades, uh, I have uh, two hundred and sixty credits. Yeah, that's more than I have. Ooh, yeah. I started. Wow. I started off with four ten. Wow. I have fifteen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I start. I started with sixty and still have sixty. Okay. Um. How how are you, Kane? I'm I I think I mean I got some from that uh, the the place where we just did the, the okay took the ship. I, I got I got some uh, there was some some credits lying around which is it's helpful. I have forty so um so drinks are are on me. But it, I mean <laughs> it, it just seems like if we go we should probably have um business some, uh, yeah something to say um something to show. Okay. I think we don't have enough money. I'm just saying, I don't know. I don't know what's enough money for a black rock. Yeah, I don't either. I, I've only heard about them. I've never interacted with them. Exposing ourselves without any clear intention is a vulnerability and may come off as a sign Wait. of weakness. I agree with Scott. Wait, we just, saw, we just saw a big famous rock. What if we tell them it's there? Oh. What, what are we going to... I'm just gonna believe we it. could be That's like explorers story. and we found it. I mean, mm. I did record what it said. Uh, I did. Ha- I do have a nice, crisp recording. Like it's in the door. I don't know what we do need, really but I'm all about like anarchy. Black rock our location. On our ship. Uh, we would not be going. They would not Maybe. be coming on our ship. We'd be going on to into their base. Oh, do we have Still an umbilical? Seem like a no. Good idea. So we'll have to land on it. Yeah, we, we yeah. do have the record the flight logs from where we last tracked the rock. Are we going to give them that, though? Yeah, why, why not? We could use it as payment. You know, exchange information. Instead of money, we give them information. Um, Is that the kind I still of people don't think these it's a great idea. And she pulls out this little thing, and she goes, um, who wants to swallow it or take it or make sure it's safe? Um, what is it? It's the chip that, that gives you access to the SJF. I, I'm liking this plan less. <laughs> I don't want to like lose it, and if they, ta- I mean, you know, if 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 they're thieves, like you say, Scott, we had it, Scott. I Scott will detach from his chair; his eyes will light up, and he'll just like open up his hand, and like a little compartment inside his palm will open up. 
Okay, I'm trusting this with you. She sort of inserts it in your palm. Zip. Okay. All right. Well, at least it wasn't me. I, I don't know if it would make it. So are we going? Yeah. Let, let's go. It's a little hot inside. Let's go knock on the BRG's door. You too. You, it seems I like this group. You guys just like leap into faith. It's great. Um, okay. uh, we, we've gone through some things. I feel like should something bad happen, um, I think we're going to be okay. Uh, we may want to. Does anyone want to stay back with the ship, or do we want to do it in shifts? Because I think even I know we're landing. I know it's my idea, but I feel like we should have at least one person stay with the ship. I I'm will. Sure That's fine. You sure this is a good idea again? No. no. I'm not. Why are we enlisting their services? We because want I want to get off the ship. Wait, I what, what, what if we just took stuff? Are we thieves? Is that us? Uh, are we? Well, Bl uh, I think we were in the lesson last time. What do we need? I don't know. Um, money. An AI. What would be uh, useful for our journey ahead? A dependable um, AI. I, well, I told you a long time ago that we needed firepower. Mm -hmm. Um... Well, initially, we were going to take things, but it seems that that's our thing. So, firepower, um, money, credits, it's good. Um, and then, uh, I don't know, information, things that would be useful yeah. now. If we're, Let's go. We could go in with the pretense of bartering for information and just rob them and leave. If, if we're th thieves, do, do we kill them? God. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Very, I mean, very logical. Um, we only kill them if they try and kill us. Or if there are too many witnesses. Mm. Uh, Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> only as a last they, resort. They're not like no. uh, violent criminals, are they? Uh, I mean, if you're... Us or them. <laughs> I don't know that you really want to find that out. I don't know. You guys I, like let someone die. You're hmm? right. Uh, oh, I, I did. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was about to say, right, we you, haven't let uh, any. You're right. You hit them with a car. There was that. I mean. Is that how he died? Did you hit him with the, the taxi? <laughs> oh my gosh. You <laughs> killed him with a taxi. Dude. <laughs> I still I still all have his destroyed cut out. I'm trying to keep him alive I'm, the whole car. It's and how just, it gets killed out. in the cutscene. <laughs> like, you guys are like, stay here. And then just like, and then it's just. Boom. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> That's how it worked out. Did you not catch that? Oh, yeah. I got I, that. Oh, no. No, I got it. It was the huge the moment. Red. The red streak on the ground. I'm sure you yeah. guys talked about it. I had like an intervention with her. I thought like, you don't drive cars into people. <laughs> She's like, and he I was can't. calling for a taxi. <laughs> I mean, I only wanted him for his money. Yeah. And I have his cut up cards. So, um, so, no, but here's the thing. We all now have a ship and uh, ship upgrades are expensive. Like some things that I've been looking at are like 30 plus 30,000 plus credits. Ooh. How do you have like, a Wi-Fi out here? We have hopes. And, I don't have Wi-Fi. I have a data storage. I've been using Scott. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, he thinks yeah, he has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let, All let's go. Data's gone. <laughs> I'm not going to say we're going to rob him. I'm not going to say we're not going to rob him. I'm just saying we're going to rob him. I'm saying we're going <laughs> to rob them. <laughs> okay. okay. I like it. Let's do it. <laughs> let's rob them. Like, um, let's see if there's anything worth robbing before we rob we're them. Rob. So this is a reconnaissance mission. Just think of it like this. If they find out we're robbing them, we have two organizations on our backs. At least. Oh. And one is a lot oh, no. worse than the other. Wait, which one is it? BlackRock is uh, small time. They're, they're more like a gang. Yeah, they're literally, literally, they're <laughs> the best equivalency I could give you would be like, like the... Somali uh, Pirates? No, it'd be like a biker gang. Okay. Oh. Right? Like they're okay. a, they're a biker gang, that. but they're a minor gang. Okay. Right? Like a yeah. M-I-N-E-R. They're gang. not even like the Hells Angels or no, Mongols. They're, they're like, like, they're like a... In this case, they would be like those guys, but not like embedded in everywhere, right? They're just right. like, Wildly. there's like, oh, they're in L.A. Yeah, they're the local. That's it. Game. Like they're like when you hit the uh, belt, gotcha. when you hit the belt, you bump into the, you bump into the. Yeah, that's their that's their little area. Yeah, their territory is this corner of the asteroid belt. All right. Yeah, let's go in. Let's see what there is to see. All right, so. Tell me how that happens, please. Um, uh, are we Joe, stealthily you gonna radio on top of first? Scott, are you gonna yeah. stealth? Are you gonna? Because yeah. if you just appear, like, like sneak in. Scott is going to 
I mean, with everyone else's approval, open up a, a hail mm -hmm. and uh, try to just uh, get someone on the line. So it's like... And, and, and Joe Thor is going to... Can you catch back the frequency? Decloak. Okay. So... Or, 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 or we're on top of them? Or, 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 I don't know. It would, do you think it's better to decloak now or wait until... Wait until we I talk I will say to that you've been hit, you're hitting like two minutes if you don't... If you guys right. don't like move away and decloak. Yep. We're fine. Okay. As long as, I just wasn't as long, sure. Can we move away and be in comp distance? Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. thousand, we thousand move back to where we feet. were. So yeah. let's let's move out of visual range, decloak, and then open up a hailing frequency. All right, so you guys are hidden. Yeah. I'm gonna say you're well hidden unless you guys decide to like blow shit up. Behind the yeah. Um <laughs> And then and then you call out on comms into their. It seems like you're on a minor frequency, right? Like they're sort of like communicating through that, and then you catch their frequency, and then you say what? Uh, this. Hello. You know, go ahead. What is our ship name? My name. Uh, oh, you're going to hail them <laughs> as your ship? That's smart. Well, uh, well, hey, we haven't talked about it. I did say. So you can So it's you yellow. can choose a name, and then we can argue about it later. It's yellow like a banana. What else do we have around here? Uh, we got Joe Thor's hammock. Uh, it's a class two. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, class two ship. With a cl uh, tier one cloaking. What is, do we know what the model of this ship is? Two, uh, we are class two transport pri pri privateer model. Don't privateer put that in transport. the name. This what? is class two privateer transport ah. three four three one, hailing the Black Rock mining crew. Uh, did you guys hear that? Sounds like a robot. Hello. Hello. Scam go. <laughs> Um, Are you a robot? <laughs> <laughs> you a robot? That's what he's gonna say. I love it. It's a, we're gonna go. We're yes. gonna go full on trucker. <laughs> <laughs> you a robot? Yes. <laughs> and what the hell are you doing on our frequency? Uh, we're on a nearby ship in the in the in the belt. We wish to barter. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna get a shot down. All right. Hey, Tops, get a load of this robot. A <laughs> um, guy walks up and he's like, um, hello, 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 um, hello, yes, um, <laughs> what, what do you have to barter with? We have information. Okay. We know the whereabouts of a very valuable stone in this area. Okay, there we go. Robot with brains. Okay, all right, Breckett, um, uh, escort him in. All right, all right, hey, all right. Mm. Robot boy, wherever you are, come out, come out, and we'll escort you to the dock. Do we have assurances we will not be shot down? Um, yep, as long as you have credits, we're good. We have information. There is a... Finder's fee, an entry fee, and an exit fee. How expensive. Please send over your quote. <laughs> I like the way you think. Give me a second. Tobs! <laughs> <laughs> uh, he calls for Tobs. And Tobs <laughs> comes back and goes, Um, okay. Um, well, depending on what your information is worth, what do we say we started an even 25 credit entry fee? Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Agreed. All right. Um, head to dock B, uh, section subset 11. Coming in now. Fantastic. All right. Break it! <laughs> All right. All right. You heard him. Come on. <laughs> All right. All right. So I guess we're just fl we're f we're flying in to yes. said This ship pad. is flying in by the seat of its pants. And it is going to try and rob this group of organized <laughs> criminals. Potentially. Potentially rob. See if I there's love it. Oh, man. You guys are fun. Okay, so. <laughs> I feel like there's a different word there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a combination of two words. One of them is dumb. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So you guys go uh, to this dock, right? And, and you sort of land on it um you land on like one of these pipes it's a very large pipe like i'll say 
um, it is the width of your ship, right? Sort of land on. And you come to this sort of um, like castle door looking shape, right? And your ship sort of obviously is going to put down its little flap into the pipe, right? So they're going to open this thing and then you sort of put it down. So they open the pipe and then you see sort of like this like containment uh, curtain that sort of like comes up and then just like magnetizes at the top and sort of pulls everything taut and then that curtain sort of goes tight and then you know that they've made like an airlock so then you open your airlock um and then at the bottom standing there um is a large um a large man in overalls with sort of like a big chin tuft it's all chin tuft and the beard sort of grows above his bottom lip um, and God, he wears, I know a guy like that. And he, wears like, <laughs> and he wears like a hat, like a flat bill hat that just sits right over his eyebrows. Yep. Um, and then the other guy is a really skinny, lanky guy with like a little like, like I want to say conductor stick. Okay, but like yeah. it's more of like a pointer stick because there's like a little knob at the end. Um, and this guy is, he's like real rail thin and real small, right? But he's wearing a similar getup, like this like kind of overall... Um, rolled up arm sleeves and they're they got the red. It's all red, right? Is what they're wearing. Just the Mario Brothers. Um, no, they're both wearing they're red. Both red. No. They're both red. Um, <laughs> like and sort of fill in fill in the blanks, if you will, for the rest of their appearance. Um, so anyway, Tobbs is the small one, and then Brackett's the big guy, right? Figured I just everybody kind of gets that. So because immediately you get down and you see they have Tobbs <laughs> and Brackett on their His last name on Ralph. their yeah. on their you know like yeah. the names this is a right? trucker gang yeah it's a, it's become what it's become <laughs> uh, and and you sort of like head down into the space um and he's who comes out first i guess what let's do this let's do he the said introduction it was magnetized does scott get stuck on the magnet no, no it's, no, it's no. magnetized the 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 airlock yeah no. just to make sure um since, J- funny. since joe thor was the one that was wanting to get the most off the ship he will be the first one down and well <laughs> We'll go up to the guys, just be like, hey guys, how's it going? Oh, hey, 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 hey. Um, With Scott, I assume? Scott is walking behind, like, two paces behind Joe Thor at all times. Okay. Um, and then Tobbs also greets. He says, hello, hello. Um, um, oh, yes, hey. Um, well, welcome, robot and simian friend. At this point, we're going to say no one else has been revealed. Okay. This is the, this is the, yes, I love it. Um, it's the whack a Wookiee style and then take the Stormtrooper outfits. <laughs> uh, no. So they say, yeah, welcome. Welcome to our, welcome to our ship. Um, welcome to Black Rock. Um, can I interest you in any refreshments? Uh, that would be much appreciated. Um, but I assume that you are going to either want our information first or our fee to get in. Yes, yes, the 25 fee. You'll see. Come! And he starts walking. And then... Can, can, uh, I, can I retroactively do something? Yeah, what's up? Uh, before we got off, um, let's say we agreed that I'm a normal task bot. Yeah, of course. And I'm, I'm I, literally, that was you just communicating through me, is how we're going to play it off. Like, on the comms with them. So, like, okay. they oh, think okay. I'm just a normal, dumb yeah. robot. Oh, got, yeah, yeah, you gotcha. Yeah, okay. makes sense. Gotcha. Um, so I'm just your helper. So yep. as you see uh, the, Checks just out. an FYI, as you see um, Breckett turn around, um, you see he has a tail. Um, Pull on like it. Like a simian tail. Does he have other simian features? Uh, you catch the glimpse of his back, and you see more hair coming out of it than... than his, you know, than his face. So it's oh, like he's got okay. a, he's covered in. He's part, so he's maybe part simian. Uh, well, he he is simian. Okay. For the for the case in, for this case, he is okay. a simian. Okay. Um, and the other guy's just a small dude. Gotcha. Um, so anyway, just the first first interaction outside of you that we've now seen a simian. Okay. Um. So, so yeah, that's the crew there. Uh, sort of walk down this pipe, um, and as you get to the edge of this pipe, you enter. Um, there's like a turn to your left, right? That's going to mm-hmm. go so- towards the center rock, right? And you continue down this pathway. What are the two of you doing while they are walking on this pathway as sort of uh, they're probably going to make conversation on- along the way? Where's, 
I want to try to find a sniper point. <laughs> From inside the ship? Yes. <laughs> so there is none. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, wait kind of by the tunnel, but be ready for something. Why don't you make me a perception check to look and see if the coast is clear? That's a wisdom. That's a seven. The coast is clear. <laughs> I'm going to check and see if the coast is clear. <laughs> <laughs> I think he already be- rolled better than I did. It's a 12. The coast is clear. Okay. I think the coast is clear. You guys are peeking are yourselves you sure? out of the cargo hold <laughs> on each end. You look across and just loudly whisper, The coast is clear. <laughs> the coast is clear. <laughs> <laughs> little, little Three Stooges action over here. <laughs> <laughs> What's memory do? Memory is... Memory says, All right, I'm ready. Because the coast is clear. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's going to be the short for this episode. Wait. Did, should we... You said you wanted someone someone to stay on the ship, right? Yeah. Uh, um, I can stay. Wait. If, like, they come back, can you, like, stop them from getting on the ship? Yeah, close the door. <laughs> Fair oh, enough. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Keep calm. Should we follow we'll them? keep you in touch. Okay. I can keep... Comes live. Sh- should we should we follow them? Since we're, Probably. You know, no, no, wait, we're, I feel like one of them is going to get themselves oh, killed. Oh, we're, we're thieving, oh, take this. Right. And she hands you a landmine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like keeping him or me. I'm just saying so we have some. So who's going to give who you? Who is one. she yeah, handing yeah. a landmine to? I'll take it. It just gives it, it gives you in the landmine. Okay. He's the soldier. I'd have to play that differently. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. It's it's not you. <laughs> All right. Good luck. That can be used as the way to escape. Anywho, um, <laughs> put it in magic items. Yeah, it's basically just like a block of C4 you just put on the wall. <laughs> yeah. like, that's kind of what it is. Here's a bomb. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blow it up. Where did she get that? Too much. We had it. All right. I, I so we're what now are you guys walking doing? down the gangplank. All right, so you walk down the gangplank, Where you head out there, and she says, all right, let me know if you need back in. And it closes. Okay. All right. Okay, I guess we're now sneaking. All right, go ahead and make stealth checks. <laughs> All right, so we're with Reckett, Tobbs, Jovthor, and Scott. Um, and the four of you are sort of walking down this hallway, and as you sort of walk down, you see that it just gets, like... Uh, 23. It's it's. Oh, give me a second. It just gives me... Just hold it in your heart. Um, <laughs> it gets very, like like, a chimney as it gets closer to the fire. It sort of just gets like more uh, black s- s- like sooty, sooty, sooty along the walls, gross. right? And and you kind of get towards the edge, and you, you sort of see um, uh, Breckett, as he, you sort of look down at his feet, their hands, right? And he sort of like uh, rubs one of his fingers along the wall, um, and just you see it all in his finger. Um, and then he just like rubs it on his nose, turns around, and he's got like a black little thing on his nose. It's just being silly you're just kind of getting the vibe of this and then immediately they open the doors and you see a uh i don't even know this music is not correct now um is it gonna be the cantina music oh please let it i can work with that that's fine it's like a western right um no we need something we gotta have something i don't know i can honestly I, I mean, if you're I'm, vibing, based on these guys, I think that's fun. I'm pretty EDM banjo Western. vibe. Yeah. I was, I was, yeah, I'm imagining there when we walk in. I, correct me if I'm wrong, Jaden. Obviously, but when we walk in, there's just a bar on one end, and then there's just a bunch of tables. I I was actually gonna say it's actually like a a central circular bar oh, okay. that sort of goes in, mm. and then up along the ring at the edge is like bedrooms and like spaces for them to be. And this oh, okay. is sort of like the central bar. Um, and everything kind of goes area, outside kind of, of that. Do you right? have okay. the EDM remix of this song? No, yeah. um, but I can do. Uh, that's club. Uh, it's club music. Oh, I can do this. Hold on, I'm gonna do it. I got Chinese. it. We gotta try it. Is that, is that club enough for you? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. I, yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's a little biker gang. Yeah, I like it. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're in the club. 
and you guys are in the room, um, and you see a bunch of dudes just sort of like drinking. Uh, there's gals too, but few and far between. And I'd say the gals that are there are uh, scandally clad. And I know what I said. Um, are they apes as well? No. <laughs> uh, Whoa! No, we prefer, no, we prefer, no, we prefer but, the term okay. simian. But, but, I, but I am going to say, though, that like, simians notably are working class people. And, and Joint trades. That's, that's the scenario here. So you get a lot of different people, a lot of, a lot of humans. You see a couple people with blue skin, um, some, a couple people with green skin. And it's, it's, it's just the, the it's diversity of the, of the space. Um, but it seems that if you're not hardworking, you don't belong. Because everybody here has tough hands, tough looks, and smells fantastic. So that it's just they're very it's that kind of space and you're picturing the sci-fi sleek walls but I told you it's covered in soot. Oh, yeah. Whatever this was before was shoved in the middle of this rock because it's just like there's metal placed everywhere and uh, there's obviously this central bar and then up on the top it's sort of a platform. It doesn't go all the way to the ceiling. There's like a platform that sort of there's like two walkways that go towards the middle and then up even beyond that there's more platform and there are people watching like yeah freaking get him get him fight ray dope Ooh. all right okay so and scott then, is intentionally remaining silent yep yeah. you walk in um he turns around and he goes um he says welcome um welcome to uh, black rock bar um and then just ah, splat! Somebody hits the ground, and he goes, "Oh no, I had money on him." <laughs> uh, and he goes, "Well, I'll be taking my twenty-five now." Okay. Um, and just since uh, Scott is my helper, well, I, let, me, let me phrase that: uh, Are you going to require twenty-five for both of, both my helper and I, or just for me? That's not a question for the you ship. should ask. Now it was it's for the ship. Both. Oh, yeah. What was oh, twenty five for the ship, or uh, we're negotiating? Okay. Um, oh. Yes, twenty seven. Ross. <laughs> <laughs> I thirty one. This is what an eight charisma does for you. <laughs> Two. He's Scott just right. pulls out thirty one. Okay, he doesn't have thirty one. He takes it from. <laughs> <laughs> it has become thirty one, and the thirty one has not been taken. my money. Have you learned nothing and he about goes, shares? He goes, "Hey, it's nice to see another simian here." And he just grabs you and he nuggies you hard, um, <laughs> and and your sort of hat falls off your head, and like you just see this tuft of hair. Um, Scott bends down, picks it up, dusts it off, hands it back to him, <laughs> um, and he just like puts it back on your head. Um, it, it it is nice to see. Uh, Another simian. Where are you from? Oh, you know about. <laughs> uh, okay. Out about? Can't argue uh, with that. Uh, is that a? I assume that's a fight ring up above. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Gotcha. <laughs> uh, is that is that guy that fell gonna be okay? Is he? Is he? No, that guy. No, he's hardcore dead. He's hardcore. Okay. <laughs> Good. Good to know. Replacing him's gonna be tough. It's I a, hope his wife's okay. It's a babe in the woods right here, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect. I so, love this bar. <laughs> so I, so it we, soon. I have information that you guys might find interesting, and I just want to know who's gonna be the best person to talk to to um, exchange that information for either information that you guys have or maybe something else. I like it. I like it. Who's the best person to talk to? This guy's been to sales school. He turns to some nobody. Um, <laughs> and then he's like, and then he's like, um, the, uh, you know, the other guy pops in, um, Tops. Tops, pop, Tops pops in and he says, um, you, you know, I was thinking, um, the best person to talk to would be, uh, uh Victor. Uh, Victor is kind of the man in charge here, um, but he's busy. So uh, you can tell me, and then uh, I'll pass it on. Uh, uh, we what? would prefer to speak with Victor. Hmm. I thought you were oh, well. Um, then I'll take my finder's fee right now, then. Fifteen. Scott reaches. <laughs> <laughs> you and Thank you. I <laughs> yes, so we'll just look at him and be like, and then he's he revenge for the fired. key fob. He points, up, he points up in the sky as you see, like, just a, 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 it's a man who has 
long gray hair, but a clean shaven face. He's certainly old, but he's just got long, like curl weird owl hair. Um, and and he's wearing like a like a miner's suit, but no undershirt. So it's just like like an overalls, and he's got his arms out. He's got big, strong arms, and he's just got this wrench that he's sort of like flipping in his hand. Just flipping a wrench, like a, um, like a pipe. I, I do that, like a like a big honking monkey wrench. He's yeah. just like flipping it, um, uh, and he and he's sort of looking, and then he's yelling. Um, you kind of hear him. He's like, "What are you doing? Stop it!" And then he just like chucks the monkey wrench, and then you <laughs> see the other guy <laughs> hit the ground on the other end, um, and he's like, "Yeah, no, I get my money." <laughs> um, <laughs> Victor, you know. Uh, <laughs> victory for victory. <laughs> it's whatever. It's Victor V I C T R. Uh, <laughs> and and that is my man Victor up there as he points up there and he says, um, "If you need anything else, uh, just yell for Tobbs. Uh, Breckett will do the same." Can I? Can I look around and see? I mean, I'm I'm always looking for stuff to hack. Is there yeah. anything in here? Um, man, it's it's pretty darn analog for what you're seeing in here. Um, you do see um, the the sort of center console uh, in the center of the room. Like there's the cash register is all digital because most currency in this context is. Okay. So there is a digital cash register, um, but there is a uh, a a Hooters waitress standing before it essentially. All right, I'm gonna look to Joe Thor and say, I'm going to go get you a drink. And then one eye will blink off and blink back on. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll say, do not divulge any more information to anyone. And then I will just go to the, to yeah, the bar. Yeah, you head on over there. <laughs> I'll take you to Victor. Breckett sort of picks you up and walks you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm getting just like he's from Disney I guess, kind of vibes. Yes, so <laughs> now we're cutting back to the duo <laughs> in, the, in the pipe. Uh, so you guys are uh, you guys are smoking pipe right now. Um, oh, no, it's really. like a walkway. No, it's a walk. It's a, so the walkway <laughs> goes down into a large pipe, and you are walking in said pipe. And there are other ways off this, or does it just go straight the way? It goes end? straight across to the. So you have two directions, right? You could turn around. Sure. So you have three directions. You could turn around and go towards like engine one, right? You could go forward and go to the other engine, or then you could turn and go into the center space. So you see what I'm saying? Oh, it's a big long walkway. So now we're into a, into like a circle. in a square. Yeah. Okay. Well, or you yeah. could go left into the perpendicular part that connects to the black rock. It, is there enough noise leakage that we can hear that? Or like. Oh damn! I had. Okay. Okay. I think. I think. I think they might have gone that. way. You don't say. Maybe That's wild, we, though. They really do have sound effects for that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. A different way. Guys, we have an audience, and I'm not sure of the volume. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kane is whispering. Yeah. Well, actually, it's probably, it's he's whispering idea. louder because he doesn't know how loud. He's whispering like this at this volume. <laughs> so where are you guys going? You what's your be. what's your plan? Engine one, engine two, or right. you headed to the back towards the main space? Wherever they're not, right. we're going. Right is always right. So straight. No way. Right. So you entered through <laughs> the pipe, and your choices are straight ahead. Or left. On your way straight ahead, you could turn left, or you could turn around and go backwards towards the engine. You parked on the pipe, they opened a hole, and your platform went in the pipe. Oh. The yep. pipe is bigger than the where you came in. Let's go to the engine. Sure. I don't, I don't know that I trust our odds no, of getting out of this. You're going to an engine. Up. You guys are like Obi-Wan Kenobi. going to turn off some little, like, levers. I, I get we're, we're like these You know now. what I mean? Like, of that's, course. That's kind of the vibe. That's good. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you guys begin to go that direction. Go to give me stealth checks. Again? Oh, wait, where did I get that? You're right. These are your real the, checks. No, the check you had before. Remember? Oh, 23? yeah, 23. I'm yeah. 20. 20 and 23. I was excited. Wow. That's easy to remember. Um, so you begin to move. Um, move with silence um, and I'll say I'll even say you're so stealthy there's somebody coming along the other way right and sort of you're like you like see them coming uh, from the engine room and of course you guys just like go prone you guys go prone and you're like and then you crawl along the ceiling 
oh, realizing wow. that the gravity goes all the way around. <laughs> wow. Right? And so you're just prone on the ceiling as you like look up, looking down at the man that is walking in the direction you came, going to investigate this platform where your ship is. Can I stab him with the necro sword? Like just turn you it on, drop onto on his him? head. You want to drop on him? Yeah, why not? All on right. him this time, not behind him. So go ahead yeah. and roll to hit. Cause maximum chaos. That's a six. Six total? Plus? Oh, wait. Nope. I used the wrong die. We're going to get another Doc Octopus messing us up, man. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, yeah. That that, that dude. That's also a six. Yeah. No, no. You do roll the d20 for the, right. to hit. Oh. Yeah. You're just yeah. rolling to hit. Yeah. Then, yeah. Six. I'm I'm smart. Six plus your... Plus? Plus your to hit roll. Your to hit something. Your, it's your dagger. Oh, stabbing okay. Over thing. Yeah, that makes more sense. What are you stabbing with? Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, necro sword. So, 14. It's not bad. I'll tell you right now, that hits. Okay. You're not wearing armor or anything. You just drop on a miner. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. <laughs> yeah, that Con- doesn't sound maybe, right. Uh, context. You flag that shit. Uh, <laughs> context, context. Oh, man. Good uh, thing only er. It's not okay. It's comedy. Er. It's comedy. ER. Uh, comedy. ER. Comedy. So you, like, stab him in the head? So, yeah, yeah I'll just tell you, you kill the guy. Why not? It's cool. Yeah. And you so, just... Now you can take You like jump and then the gravity flips and on its way down you just like sever whatever his neck was <laughs> and then he just like <laughs> Okay just falls right. on the ground. Kane is now going to start derobing the man. <laughs> <laughs> well he's just soldier, man. Boba Fett. Just just poked a hole. We are no longer uh, we no longer have clean hands in this. <laughs> Kane is now going to just start, you know, taking his suit and putting it on. Okay, so yeah. you take his uh, red outfit and so you're wearing red overalls. He's escorting um, me. And then uh, you take the body and you just start dragging it towards the engine room. <laughs> <laughs> I have to cut back. That was too cool. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do yet, so give me a moment to process while I process with that. Um, all right, so you guys are back in the... Oh, man. Back in the club. Musical transition. Also, that did sound like we were going through a door. I know. <laughs> that was yeah. really cool. Like, And I can go back. And I can come back. <sighs> Cool. It's neat. It's it's um, nice yeah. Uh, tabletopaudio.com, guys. It's free. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. Shout out. Right in here. Um, so uh, I was being taken up to Victor by Breckett. Yes. Yeah, so yes. you're. Force it's, That's correct. Force uh, you're still walking. Scott, roll your roll, and then I'm going to get to him, and then I'll come back to you when we're done. So keep that roll in your heart. It's uh, actually not walking. Uh, your data check. Unless you're trying. Oh, you have the sleight of hand. You have the sleight of hand to get sleight in her way. Hand. What are you trying to do? Sorry. What are you trying to do? I'm just, I'm going to order a drink for him. Ah. And while she's... What kind of drink? Uh, Bavarian dice bowl? The stiffest one they have. <laughs> cuckoo. <laughs> a cuckoo. <laughs> um, Write it and, down, Ross. And, uh, that's, a, that's a reference to campaign one that we did. Oh. Yeah. It, it was uh, Jacob's character known as Frizz Cuckoo oh. invented a drink that is mainly absent. Much yeah. like someone else. <laughs> <laughs> it's just absinthe. It with was extra absinthe step. And something else. But wine. Yeah, it was just absinthe. <laughs> uh, wine make that wine flavored channel. absinthe. While well, we're doing it. So, uh, and then while she's like pouring it and ringing it up and distracted, yeah. I want to like uh, just try to do a hack on the Go register. Go ahead and sleight of hand to see how you can get around her. Um, as sort of, she's, she's looking and she goes, yeah, what? I'm sorry. Yeah, I can get that for you. And so she turns around, and then you just like. Does he need in. to? That's what he's doing. That's what I'm saying. Does he need to? Because I thought he had like within thirty. This feet is thing. pretty analog. Oh, you stuff. can remote hack. Oh. Can you? Is it? Is there a downside to? Or is there an upside to physical? I would say, any physical hacking, I'm gonna lower the DC. I'll do physical. Just to see if I. So can then, slide give me that sleight of hand check. Okay. So we're walking up the stairwell. It's a spiral stairwell. Yeah. Two simians in a stairwell. It's a great start to a joke. <laughs> and as you get to the top of this stairwell, you're just greeted by the higher uh, echelon of this mining crew, right? You see prettier women than there were downstairs. You see tougher <laughs> men than there were downstairs. Better well-groomed men as, and women as well. So they're all downstairs. They're all, uh, they're all there. downstairs. <laughs> the hierarchy mm. of people. Um, there was a joke. I'm- uh, right. Plenty of simians up here too. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. And so, um, <laughs> just catches strays. Wow. Uh, wow. Uh, wow. Okay, so you get to the top. Do. Yes. Um, you get to yes. the top, and you see um, 
uh, Victor. Um, and he sort of walks up to him and he says, uh, Brackett says, Hey, Victor, I got a friend. He's got info for cash. What? And Victor says. What? He oh. sort of like leans oh, yeah. in. He like leans in. He's tough. He looks like, he's like a Tarzan looking old dude. As he sort of just like leans down on his knees and looks up at you on this couch. Hello, Mr. Victor. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I. What? Okay. <laughs> Previously, I've. Ladies, I said madam, so mister. I'm just trying to stay consistent with care. You're doing You're fantastic fine. for your, your charisma on the sheep. I can't Save wait something. to see this. <laughs> Mr. Victor, I have information that you might find interesting about a interesting phenomenon located near here. Okay, what? Is it free? What do I do? No, uh, I, for this, I would like, um, I'd like to be compensated. However you may see fit. Great, we can beat you to shit for information. What do you want? <laughs> 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 Uh, the ship, uh, I recently came into um, ownership of a ship, and uh, while it is great, I would l like to upgrade it. So I was wondering uh, what upgrades you may have available in exchange for the information that I have. We're a mining facility. I have credits, I have raw materials, and then I have beating you to shit. Which one sounds favorable? <laughs> Uh, I think the last one is not favorable for you. You're wrong. It's <laughs> <laughs> actually my favorite. <laughs> this is my first pink. <laughs> is your scout in the background? I don't agree with we that. We just totally left out Joe Fire on the track. <laughs> I told you this was a bad idea. <laughs> so hey. Jofthor is overconfident right now, okay? He just upgraded his stuff. So, um, this so is I, the best part of the episode. We, <laughs> we, I am happy to be compensated in credits. Great. How much do you need? What kind of information? Do we want to do, like... I mean, as soon as you give me information, you're worthless to me. I'll kill you. So what? What? what is, like... Uh, how, how, tr demand up front what you think. I'll give you money. And then if I don't like your information, I'll kill you. Um, that is fair. That's Let, fair. No, no, no. He says it's fair. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I will exchange the information that I have for 2,000 credits. You give me half right now, and I give you the information. If you deem that information to be unuseful, then... 2,000 credits? Oh, shoot. Uh, how about this? How about this? How about this? I give you thousand credits, which is already more than I was preparing to give some stupid man like you. And then you put robot in fighting ring. Oh. And if robot win in fighting ring, I give you another thousand. Uh, he's just a task robot. Why? I, I, you know what? Worst case, you're out the task bot and you're a thousand credit richer. And you can, yes, pick, yeah. you can pick the opponent. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Um, I have good okay, fighting yeah. robots. Would be great. <laughs> um, or you can fight man right, or right, Simeon or whatever. Pa uh, out of game. Pause for a second. Nope. He's not here. Okay. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nope. Okay. While well, you contemplate, yeah. what are you guys doing? <laughs> you brought yourselves well, I, into this engine room and you come into this like this whole space. Go ahead and give me a technology check. I throw that sky. Sky. So I sort of, if you sort of look at this scenario here. It's a technology check. Technology. Yeah, it's a three. Eight. Yeah, so you have come across an engine room. Um, and in this engine, this engine room is cylindrical, right? The central modem is what's powering it. You see a similar type uh, plasma-ish thing. However, there's on top of it a large, what looks like a gas tube, right? It's like in a bunch of, uh, like, it's clear, but you can see it's like oil inside. All right, so it's powered different than your ship by two different fuel sources. It is capable of interdept flight. You have come to find out look familiar to you I'm in disguise he's in disguise like a robot but he's not a robot yep he's a person no I know robots in disguise time. transformers yeah. uh, no. so yeah. so you basically have this engine room to yourselves yeah. um, 
until something might happen. Do you want to so, wait? What do you do? What's on the that thing she gave you? The landmine. Yeah. Is there like a timer or a like a remote? I'll thing? let you decide that. You guys, are I don't. No, you did not explain. <laughs> I didn't, and I didn't want to. But I will now. I think I see what you're doing, though. Wanting to blow it up. I'm I not mean, doing jack crap. All I know just, is that you guys are chaos demons, and if I question. give you stuff to blow stuff up with, you will find ways to just use it. Just ask. Oh, yeah. Actually, I already have that stuff. I also still have two grenades. What, what just is it? asking questions. What is it that memory likes? Um, I think it's... Anarchy? Cha- anarchy. Yeah. She yeah. says anarchy it's, often. It's sort of her catchphrase. Does she like uh, we, are, we are being influenced by her. So I think I said I you have a... To blame it. Uh, did I tell you, Ross, what it was called? The what? The like the landmine thing that I gave you. You just um, told he, you didn't give it to him, but yeah, you just told no, me. No, I told I told who people who grabbed stuff that there was like a. Oh, gotcha. Uh, so you you also leave with blank. Um, I did not record landmine because that was not something yeah, that Joe Floor picked no, up. That's <laughs> no, that's fine. That's totally. That's something fine. she picked up. So here's what I will do. I will give because I don't remember have. and blaming myself. I will give you the the choice to program it to go off in a timer. Do you want to timer it, or do you want to be able I'm to I'm not going to let detonate. you remote detonate it. Oh. I'm going to make you time it. That's that, that lame. It is your choice. It goes off now, or it times. Not just go off now, but like you could throw it at it. Uh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Ooh. You could just drop it. That yeah, could. And yeah. just hope someone steps on it. So we can, we can put it on a timer. <laughs> so either it can be stepped on, or it can be... How like far away from where the uh, bridge came down was this? Um, this is like, I'll say like, like, ha, uh, 200 feet. Okay. So ship I kind of want to just place it on the engine. I'm trying to think of how many rounds that is. Give us two minutes to get I down. Saw. 200 feet. Uh, assuming you have 30 move, uh, 30 movement speed, uh, Do. seven, 20, uh, 42 seconds. Oh, they're. So uh, I think uh, I said uh, you I have. Mean, a, I think I said you have 60. a tractor mines, right? Uh, I do have a tractor mines. Yes, uh, that sounds right. I do have some tractor mines. Yes, a yeah, tractor. Like mines, somebody has a tractor, tractor mines. mines. That's really what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to say they were a tractor mines because that makes sense. Um, as an action, you can prime this small metallic disc and throw it into a space within 40 feet. Upon landing, the disc crackles with electricity and draws objects within a five foot cube towards it. If the creature ends the affected area the first time the tarts are turn here. It must make a strength save and a failed save. They can't move. Um, after one minute, the mine burns. Nope, that's not fun. I give you a bomb. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I've got the tractor okay. mines. That's fine. That's fine. You we'll have use, tractor mines. We'll use those later. But you do <laughs> get fine. a bomb, and I'm just going to call it a bomb. And this bomb, it's the bomb has a five-minute timer that you can choose to activate whenever you want. I feel like memory just made it for fun, like doing practice on the 12-day <laughs> yeah. journey. I'd believe it. I think <laughs> memory just had it. Just had it? Yeah. <laughs> I would not be surprised. And it's it's the size of a potato. <coughs> Either way. Really? Yep. It's not one of those nice big... With and you said nope. we can set it for five minutes whenever? You just set it, and it goes off in five minutes. So if we can only set it for five minutes, we probably should do it on the way... Uh, you guys are also out. on comms with your team at all times. Jove Thor, you there? So what are you going to do? Like what? What? What do you want? I think it's a great transition. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> how? How about this? You give me a thousand dollars. You can use my robot, and it needs to be within the next five minutes. Well, you didn't hear us talking. What? We were on comms. I literally. Well, just, what did you say to him? No, you're, you you instigate comms. You have to sort of say speak to him. Oh, so, so you're in the middle of this conversation. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. instigate the you're conversation. You're comms was. Jeff Thor, you there? There it is. Come in. What? What do you want to do? <sighs> Jeff Thor's gonna have to talk to me while talking to you. Jeff Thor. Uh, uh, Victor, you have offered me Victor something me, very generous. Come on. And come on, talk to me. My robot fighting. Are one you of on your comms with him when you're speaking right now? Yes, I'm talking. Yes. And my, and, my, and my robot fighting <laughs> an opponent that I choose is Come very on. generous. I feel like that Hurry is up. great. Uh, I'm what going the hell to have you mean you're fighting robots. I'm going to have my fighting robot. Without me. 
<laughs> well, n not my fighting. He's a special. task robot. He is not a fighting robot by any means. He's pretty useless, All right, honestly. Go ahead and make your persuasion check. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nat 20. Oh, <laughs> that means it's a 19. <laughs> What's the total? 19? Uh, 19. <laughs> yeah. so, Joe literally can't roll above a 19. Uh, but you know what? But the Nat 20 and your pizzazz and having another man excited about it with you, um, I'm going to give it to you. Uh, and I think he says, I think uh, Victor goes, all right. Sounds good. Um, hey. And he looks down and he goes, um, he throws him in the wrench. <laughs> yeah, he Where's he keep getting one. these? No, he goes, he goes, Bucket of wrenches. He goes, Tobbs! Tobbs! Uh, and he goes, what, sir? What? Um, and he says, we're going to have robots fight. All right. Um, cool. Um, who, who, who are we bringing out? He gets to choose. Bring out the selection. Um, you have Dory the there. Come on. You couldn't have picked yeah, a trucker. <laughs> Come on. Fight an average trucker. <laughs> You did say robot fight. You did. <laughs> All right. I mean, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was distracted because someone was talking in my we ear. We spent one night in prison together, and this is how you treat me? <laughs> wow. Whoa. What? Implications. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what ends up happening is they start to collect, um, and you're hacking. So what did you roll? Sorry. I rolled a 25. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, wow. Uh, what, were, what were you looking for? Um, I'm looking for their bank account. Okay. I'm like I'm like you know, I I'm I am spyware. I am okay. trying to get everything that they're worth. Okay. Basically. Now make a data check. Okay. To me, this is your this is your steal. And now here's how I'm gonna do this. The closer you are to thirty, the more money you get. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I can even. Roll no, but the closer. The closer you are to 30, the more money you get. Okay. I will say whatever you roll on the die times times 100. Oh. Watch him get a 1. Still 100. <laughs> yeah. Plus your plus your result times 100. Or, yeah. What what is this uh, This is a data check. Data. Check. data. Okay. Uh so 14. So, oh, wow. 1400. so 1,400 credits in your pocket instantly. Snap my fingers. Bam. Nice. And does and he then, also have the time to... And then he just... That's how much he safely had enough time to, to take. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sweet. And then boom. You pull... Up, you pull... Uh, and then you hear... And you hear... Get the robot! Do that one! And you you don't know if you're in trouble or not. But they're going to definitely... Oh, you're on comms, right? Yeah. Yeah. So when as soon as he started being on comms, you started being aware of that. If you guys, you guys were to say on comms, cool. Mm -hmm. um, but we understand you were talking to him. Yes. Like yeah. Yes. Okay. So you're aware of this. You're aware that you are involved in this sort of thing. You are also aware, and so are you. Mm -hmm. What are you two doing before I gather the okay. the posse? Trying to okay, talk okay. to Dove. Okay. Why don't, why don't we let's let's take the bomb and put it next to the engine. As soon as we start lay it down, though, it's going to start ticking. No, and I'd it won't. much rather time this perfectly. Now we don't turn it on. Is that how that works? Yeah, you just turn it on. Otherwise, oh. you couldn't carry it. Yeah. So we just put it, put it, hide I don't it, think things through. hide it a little bit, and then we'll come back and set the five minute timer. Fair enough. Just be what careful. What do you do with the body? Oh, is this a with. room where it, like it's like a platform? Imagine, it's just like a deep well. Imagine you're in. Is a, it something I can just toss the body? No, over the I'm gonna say you're in like a you're in like a it's like a like a great floor. You look down and you see like it goes deeper into the tube that is this engine, right? Um, and then the bottom you sort of see like the fire that's sort of like igniting the at the bottom. And How's then, um, but but sort of this this tube has got like a red glow to it. Sort of like you're only seeing in reds and grays and blacks right mm -hmm. now. Um, and that's the only thing that's lighting this space. Can I burn away the blood with radioactivity? Ooh. Uh, without giving him Horridius cancer? No, next to him. I'm not going to be next to him. I was just going to ask if I can cut the grate open and just drop the body in it. You both could so have. everything's red, Okay. Too. He's going to throw the body? Yeah. Just cut the grate open. Yeah. The Sorry, I didn't mean to. Everything's red in this. this Find this, this a this hole. Room. Like, somebody, like, you can pull it open. Oh, yeah. I'll just do that. That's fine. What are you doing? Looking for like a the body, just opening the trap door, throwing it in. Yes, yeah, so you you yeah. you look around for a trap door. Go ahead and make an investigation check. 
But Zane, I'm kind of thinking like in Rogue One when Darth Darth Vader lights the uh, ignites his lightsaber and it's just red, like in the hallway. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of just it's a red. It's fifteen. Yeah, if you try to cut 15, it. Zane, you find a great. Uh, you open it up and you shove this man through this hole. Nice. Um, and then you just see him like. And everything goes back to normal. As you do that, Kane is going to be walking up the hallway where you dragged a body, and uh, <laughs> you just see blood smear. And you just see this. <laughs> like, you see this light as he's just walking along the path, and just the blood is being burned yeah. off. It's like a. It's like a black oh, light of. in the sense that you sort of see the 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 blood. Son of, he wafts this wand of energy over this, just my this entire body. energy or, or over this blood and then as he gets near the blood it's sort of just like an eraser over an expo it just goes away huh wild it's cool and then when you get closer the light goes away this can turns it off also the light was kind of like it looked like it was inside of him hmm. like in the bones What are you guys doing? Where are you going? Um, now that we've placed the bomb there, you might there go, a, go back on console. Are we able to go to the other engine? Uh, you could walk to the next engine, or you could go back the way you came to the next engine. There's two different directions. So we do. Uh, so they're in the they're in the big room. Right? They're in the corners of this large, 400 feet across square. Mm-hmm. Do you think they have anything here other than just engines and whatever's in there? No, it's a mining facility. They probably have. A- Shaft somewhere. What do you? Are we gonna go mine rocks? I mean, do you want to? If not, I'm okay with going and killing people. Apparently, he is. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, wait, what do we come here for again? I honestly couldn't tell you. <laughs> All right, so inside, inside this room, uh, while we evaluate the psyche of our soldier, um, <laughs> we, we sort of are in the main space. Um, and Scott, you're being sort of dragged up, up, up the stairs. I'm still carrying my cup. Um, and so Jove Thor, you're sort of being pulled as well, and you're placed before three robots. And, and I want to make this easy on you. You get big and strong, but slow. You get fast and quick, but a little bit of a glass cannon. And then you got your all-arounder. Big, strong, slow. Uh, small, fast. Glass cannon. Yeah. Uh, like like you're like you're gonna hit hard, but but gonna be broken easily. And then there's like you know gonna hit pretty hard, but like it's a tank. Right. And then you have your. You know, you're all around her. Probably good at a little bit of both. Um, let's see. Uh, what, are the, what are they named? So what's by the, the way, what's I am going to use I am going to use Cobalt Press's dueling mechanics because the way that it works is, um, and we'll get to it probably eventually. But basically, how it works is that um, you know there's a system in place for two people fighting so that it's not totally unfair in the sense that like whoever rolls first wins because that tends to be how it works mechanically so that there will be a system for exchanging blows and it will feel more like a mini game than it will more than like a combat a combat sure i think the little fast one should be little macintosh <laughs> can i can i do i yeah, have to that's s- nice. I like mechanically that. do i have to speak out loud to comms to him or can i silently be a voice in his so. head i'm going to say i'm going to say uh Here's what I'll do. I'll give you the benefit of, like, you could silently do that, but there is going to be some sort of a resonance that happens, just in the sense that, like, there's going to be, like, I, I, just, I don't know. I can't I can't give it to you for free, so I probably know. Mm-hmm. But, like, however you can justify it to where there might be a penalty. In my head, I'm like, oh, you do that, but there's, like, a resonance in your head that they sort of hear you're being like, you know? So I'm like, there's something going on. Like a Charlie Brown parent or something. I don't know, but, like, yeah. I can't. I can't. Uh, or, or maybe that, or maybe it requires you to like touch your head or something. I don't know. I. Uh, how about this? I'm going to look at Joe Thor. You just point to the one you want. Still. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm trying no, to no, 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 no. I got this. I'll get this. So, I'm, so what, what? What do you think, buddy? Yeah, we have. I got uh, this. We're, we're, we're <laughs> three, three guys. 
You've been a faithful servant to me for so long. How do you want to go out? I'm here to serve. <laughs> I've got you your number two coffee. Oh, thank you so much. And I will hold on to it. No, oh, it's very stiff. Oh, okay. <laughs> Please have caution when choosing it. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I. You know, I think I forgot to oil him yesterday. Um, I. You know what? And number I, two is the glass cannon, right? Just pick one. Yeah, yeah, glass, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Give me the glass cannon. You know what? I feel like like for like, my. Uh, I'm gonna take your, the 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 smaller one. Uh, they seem to be pretty fairly even in size. I, I think it, I think it would be a good entertaining fight for you and your friends. All you right. Um, how much do you want to wager on it? Uh, with the thousand dollars that you're gonna give me now, or in addition? Well, I'm just saying like we could like I could give you. I mean, I'm giving you all a thousand. So he sort okay. of basically here's what I'm imagining. They sort of pull up a table, and he starts grabbing like credit chips. He starts yeah. just like. So he's like, I'm giving you a thousand. See so how something to wager away. Yeah, kind yeah. of. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, so how much are you putting on your butt? I mean, uh, yes, if yeah. you get, if you win, if he wins, he gets a thousand just for participation. Uh, but if uh, you want him to, like, you know, if you want uh, something, uh, uh, what, uh, what, what odds are you giving me? What do you mean, what odds? You know your butt, I know mine. Those are the odds. <laughs> so a one for one. That's how it seems okay. to look. Okay. You uh, said tit for that, whatever that meant. All right. I'm going to put 300 on my bot winning. 300 on your bot winning. All right. Uh, sounds good. I'll, I'll look over. Hey, hey break it. Yeah, boss. What, what, what is it? What? Uh, hold our money. All right. Uh, okay. So he hands him the money, and he gives him 300, and he gives him 300. So there's 600 in his pot. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and Brackett's pocket. And Brackett's pocket. Um, and so there's it's out there. Um, and you got your 700, now 700. I guess. Yep. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're definitely going to have to pick up there next time. As, uh, we, Robot fighting we, charm. We cut back to the, uh, essentially, we'll see what happens with the soldier who likes violence with Kane, as uh, Kane is. We'll see Joe Thor witness his friend's death, as Scott probably <laughs> dies. So uh, have fun and uh, peace. <laughs>